What's going on everybody? My name is Zach Hartley and welcome back to another video. In this one, I wanna walk you through what I call the set and forget portfolio. It is by far the safest and easiest way to invest your money for the long term. And I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process to understand it, to get it set up, and to take full advantage of it. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so the goals of the set and forget portfolio are fairly simple. Number one here, pretty much everybody has this goal and it is to retire on investment income. So you don't wanna save up a bunch of money and then start withdrawing that money because if you end up living to 110 or 115, you're gonna run out of money. The goal is to have enough money generating income that you can live off the income that your money or your investments are making. That's the ultimate goal here. And the goal of this portfolio is to get you to that point as quick as possible. We also want it to be low stress. We don't wanna be worried about this. This is probably a portfolio for somebody that's working a full-time job and building a family and building a legacy, but they need to have an investment portfolio as well. This is gonna be perfect for them. It is full of safe investments and it is designed for growth as well as cash flow. It is going to be a mix depending on your age and we're gonna talk about that in just one minute. And you're only gonna to have to rebalance this every five to 10 years. What I mean by rebalance is I mean check in and make sure that the allocation in this portfolio of fixed income and equities is appropriate to where you're at in life. And I'm gonna walk you through all of that but these are the goals of the portfolio that I'm about to explain to you. Now the portfolio itself is also sometimes referred to as the two fund portfolio. I like to call it the set and forget portfolio because it's super simple, it's super easy to manage and you don't have to think about it, you don't have to stress about it, but you can know that your money is safe and over the long term, it's gonna grow. Now, depending on where you live, that could dictate which investments are in the portfolio. So I've given two options for Canadians and Americans. The first one here is VFV, this is the Canadian version, and then VOO is the American version. These are ETFs that represent the S&P 500. Now the S&P 500 is 500 of the largest and best companies in the United States, and over the long term, they have performed extremely well. Depending on how far back you go, it's anywhere from seven to 10% per year on average, which is absolutely phenomenal. If you're investing early and you're investing for the long term, this is one of the best vehicles that you can invest in for long term growth. And so we are going to use it in our portfolio. If you live in Canada, it's VFV. If you live in the United States, it's VOO. It has very low management fees. You don't need to worry about what stocks are in it because it's already managed and only the best companies can make it into the S&P 500. And this is what we are going to use for growth. This is what we are going to use for the major chunk of our portfolio that is going to grow in value. Now for the cash flow and for the income side of our portfolio, we are going to go with a bond ETF. Now, if you live in Canada, the one that I would recommend is VLB. This is a Canadian bond ETF that has lots of government, provincial, and municipal bonds in it. it pays about a three and a half percent yield on it. So every hundred dollars that you put into it, you're getting three point five dollars back on a yearly basis, which is really really nice. And then, if you wanted, or if you live in the United States, you could also go with this is a global or a worldwide bond ETF. But the nice thing here is that the bonds are extremely safe. They're very, very low risk, they're very steady, and they pay you cash flow. And so the idea here is that we're using the S&P 500 for growth, and we're using the bonds for safety, security, and for steady cash flow, so that when the market pulls back, or if we have a market crash at any point throughout our lifetime, those bonds are gonna continue to pay us. And that gives us what we would call a more balanced portfolio. Now, why are we doing this? Well, like I said, the equities are for growth and the bonds are for income because, Here's the concern. If you are getting close to retirement or if you're halfway to retirement or, or if you are a year away from retirement, the market can pull back. Equities can pull back, the market can crash, and the problem is that if you're holding 100% equities, what I mean by equities is stocks. If you're holding stocks in specific companies and the market crashes, you could lose 30, 40, 50% of your portfolio, let's say two years before you retire. I'm, I'm making this video in 2023 right now. 2022, we just lost 20% in the market. And I know several people where their retirement just got extended because their investments pulled back. And so this is something that you need to consider. This is something that is super, super important. And this is the reason that we have both growth as well as cash flow. Because as you get closer to retirement, you wanna have more cash flow and less growth because those growth equities, that S&P 500, is gonna be much riskier than the bonds. And the last thing you want is a market pullback, 
right before you retire. So what is the solution to this problem? Well, the solution is based on your age or at least based on how far or how long until you want to retire or plan to retire or can retire. So for instance, just as a broad rule of thumb, this is not financial advice or anything. This is just a general broad rule of thumb here. If you're in the age group of 20 to 30 or younger, you probably want to hold mostly equities because you have such a long time to go before you're probably going to retire. And if a market pullback happened tomorrow, you still have 30 or 40 years to recover. And over the long term, the market always recovers and it goes up by seven to 10% per year. So if you are young, you probably wanna hold more equities. If you're 30 to 50, and let's say that you're halfway to retirement, you might wanna have half equities and half fixed income or bonds, so that if a market pullback comes, well, you're gonna be a little bit affected, but at least you have a significant portion of your income that is gonna be steady, that's gonna be stable, and it's gonna be paying you monthly income, which is gonna be really, really nice, and it's gonna give you peace of mind, especially when you have a mortgage and you have a family, and you're looking at your investment portfolio, the last thing you wanna see is that the entire portfolio is down by 30%. If you see that only half the portfolio is down by 30% and the other half is still paying you monthly income, it provides a lot of comfort, especially at that stage in your life. And then when you're close to retirement, you wanna have mostly bonds or mostly fixed income because like I said, the last thing you want is a market crash or a market pullback right before you retire and then you have to work two or three extra years. Nobody wants to go through that. It's like the worst thing ever. And then when you're about to retire, the best case scenario is to put all of your money into fixed income or bonds so that you can live 100% based on the income that those bonds are generating and therefore the principal is never declining, it's never deteriorating, you're just living off of the interest that that investment is making and therefore you can live forever and you've got money ready to go and you also have the principal amount or the investment amount that you put in there that you can pass on to the next generation or you can withdraw it if you ever needed it for an emergency. So that is the idea around the philosophy of this portfolio and of this strategy. Now to set it up, the number one thing you need to consider is using your tax advantaged accounts. In Canada, we have the TFSA and RRSP. In the United States, you have the 401k and the Roth IRA. Both are super useful accounts to save money on taxes and grow your portfolio faster. Next thing is you need to set up your portfolio based on your age. Decide what percentage of your total portfolio is gonna be in fixed income or bonds, and what total percentage of it is gonna be in equities or stocks. Definitely something that you need to kind of decide on early, and then you need to contribute to that portfolio on a regular basis. And let's say that you bring in $10,000 at the end of the year, you divide that $10,000 up by the portion that you had just decided in step two here, and you invest that money right away on a continuous basis, and then you rebalance that portfolio every five to 10 years as you get older and as you get closer to retirement. You take out some of that money from the S&P 500 or your growth side of the portfolio and you put it into the fixed income so that you reduce your risk, you increase your monthly income, and you can basically kind of forecast and get closer to retirement. That is the goal here. And again, obviously, hopefully you're still working so you can just continue to reinvest the income that you're earning from those bonds and get closer and closer to retirement. And then when you retire, hopefully you put your money into bonds or something safe that you can live off the interest from. And then you're set to go, you're ready to go for life and you've basically won the game. Like that's the goal here. And that's what we're trying to achieve. Now, if you wanna learn more about this, or learn a little bit more about the stock market, I have a completely free course. It's called Stock Market Fundamentals and it's available on Skillshare. And like I said, totally free. You get a one month trial to the entire platform and it's like the Netflix, but of courses. My course is called Stock Market Fundamentals and there's over 14,000 students. There's 400 plus reviews. There's over 2 million minutes of watch time and it's only 10 hours long. So I promise you it'll be well worth your time. It'll be the best free resource that you can find online. And the link is in the description to this video if you want to check it out and sign up. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end and I will see you in the next one. Good luck trading, good luck investing, and we'll talk to you soon.